Eels disease is a type of obliterative vasculopathy, also known as angiopathia retini juvenilis, periphlebitis retini, primary perivasculitis of the retina, is an ocular disease characterized by inflammation and possible blockage of retinal blood vessels, abnormal growth of new blood vessels, neovascularization, and recurrent retinal and vitreal hemorrhages. Eels disease with a characteristic clinical picture, fluorescent angiographic finding, and natural course is considered a specific disease entity. Presentation Patients are often asymptomatic in the initial stages of retinal perivasculitis. Some patients may develop symptoms such as floaters, blurring vision, or even gross diminution of vision due to massive vitreous hemorrhage. Vision in these patients can be normal to hand movements or light perception only. Bilaterality is quite common, 50-90%, patients. Etiology The cause of this condition is not known. However, in a significant number of patients, DNA of the bacterium Mycobacterium tuberculosis was detected by PCR. Pathology It is characterized by three overlapping stages of venous inflammation, vasculitis, occlusion, and retinal neovascularization. Treatment Treatment of Eels disease comprises, one medical treatment, a course of oral corticosteroids for extended periods is the mainstay of treatment during active inflammation. A course of anti-tubercular therapy has also been recommended in selective cases. Two laser photocoagulation of the retina is indicated in stage of neovascularization. Three vitreoretinal surgery is required for non-resolving vitreous hemorrhage and tractional retinal detachment. If active TB present, treat with ATT otherwise manage the vitreous hemorrhage, partial HGE, postural management with propped up position total HGE, pars plana vitrectomy. Epidemiology Eels disease most commonly affects healthy young adults. Male predominance, up to 97.6%, has been reported in a majority of the series. The predominant age of onset of symptoms is between 20 and 30 years. The disease is now seen more commonly in the Indian subcontinent. History The condition was first described in young adult men by Henry Eels, 1852-1913, an English ophthalmologist in 1880. Although men have been reported to have an increased prevalence of Eels disease, one study reported that men and women are affected equally. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.